Hi again, Mark here from Talking Bass. So, can you practice without a bass amp? Maybe you don't have an amp and you're wondering whether you really need to buy one for practice. Well, I'm here today to tell you that yes, you can, but there are a bunch of caveats that you need to know about. So I have to admit that I'm one of the guilty ones. Since I began playing, I've rarely practiced while plugged into my amp. I tend to just practice acoustically. I just grab the bass and I start playing. Now, there are obvious exceptions to this. When I play along to music, yes, I have to be plugged in. If I'm playing alongside another musician, yes, I have to be plugged in. And remember, I'm only talking about home practice not gigging or band rehearsal. Obviously, I play live through an amp, but when it's just practicing exercises or reading through something or learning a piece, most of the time, I'm so damned lazy, I just pick up and play. And I'm here to tell you that's not always a good thing. But first of all, let's look at some of the pros of playing acoustically. First things first, it's easier to play without an amp. You're not going to be restricted in any way. You can practice anywhere at any time and you don't need to start moving amps around, finding power and plugging in cables. It's also quiet. You don't have to worry about neighbors or even annoying other family members in the house. When I used to play along to my favorite songs as a kid, I'd be playing through my amp with the music turned up and you could hear and feel it through the house making me a very annoying teenager. At least when I was practicing hours of scales and arpeggios and exercises and all of that stuff, I'd be playing unplugged and giving my parents a break from all the noise. Then one other kind of pro that I'd never even realized until many years later was how it had made an impact on my playing. When you play unplugged, you tend to play harder than you would while plugged in. Now this is both a pro and a con. The pro is that you tend to build up your hands a little more. My stamina and all round finger dexterity built up fairly quickly my legato playing, you know, like hammer-ons, pull-offs and tapping, all developed in such a way that I could easily retain equal volume throughout a line. I also found that I developed every finger equally by practicing legato techniques away from the amp. But this leads us into the cons of playing unplugged. The first and most important con is a consequence of the last pro, playing harder. You're always going to have to play a little harder in order to hear yourself when playing unplugged. And when you do this, you're gonna open yourself up to injury. The first time that I felt problems was in my picking hand. And it was when I first tried learning Bach's second prelude from the well-tempered clavier a couple of years into my bass journey. I learned it during a very cold winter and I was practicing it mainly unplugged. Because of this, I was overplaying in the picking hand, you know, with cold hands. <laughs> And before I knew it, the tendonitis started to kick in. So much so that I had to stop playing for a few weeks. Practicing without an amp is okay, but you have to make a conscious effort to play lighter. Don't damage your hands by pushing harder to hear yourself. Of course, this is hard to gauge when you're just starting out. You don't have any reference point and can't tell whether or not you're playing too hard. You're just playing. So my advice is to be careful. If you're going to play without an amp, play easier stuff. Play things that don't require pushing your hands to the limits, otherwise you're likely to run into trouble. Another con is that you're going to be totally unprepared for loud live playing. When I first started playing with a band, and for quite a few years after, I always felt a little uncomfortable with the tone. I'd plug in only for everything to sound really loud and just plain bad and out of control. I'd spend a lot of time messing around with EQ and tone controls in order to just fashion some kind of sound that I liked, and because I played unplugged most of the time, I had zero experience with tone controls and gain staging. But the worst part of it was just learning to acclimatize to the difference in volume. While practicing, everything sounded great acoustically, then when playing through an amp, everything just felt so out of control. Barely touching the string is enough to make a pretty loud sound when you've got the volume cranked. And there I'd been just practicing everything hard without a care in the world. Play it through a loud amp and everything changes. Also related to this, practicing unplugged can also be detrimental to some fundamental aspects of your technique, especially muting. When you play unplugged, you'll be totally unaware of a lot of the residual noise coming from those unmuted strings. You just don't hear it because of the lesser volume. Then when it's time to play through an amp, 
all of a sudden, you become swamped in all of these sounds that you're totally unaccustomed to. Everything sounds messy and out of control after playing with a quiet and deceptively tame unplugged instrument. It can be quite a shock to the system and pretty depressing to hear that the loud amplified sound of you is not at all what you thought it was. So, like I said, practicing without an amp is fine, but you do need to be aware of the cons that I've listed here. There's no substitute for playing through an amp and learning to understand the sound that you're creating. You want to know about residual noise and why muting is so important. You want to get a feel for that amplified tone and be able to tame the instrument with your hands when playing at volume. But obviously, practicing unplugged does have some obvious advantages when it comes to convenience around the house. It's just that those advantages do come at a price. So, as always, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment to let me know what other topics you'd like me to cover. Then, remember to visit the Talking Bass website by clicking the link in the info below. You'll find over 500 free lessons on all aspects of bass playing in the free lesson map, and then if you sign up for the totally free membership, you'll gain access to the members area where you'll find all the courses, the forums, Programs, chat groups, ebook downloads, the 25 bass riff challenges, and much, much more. There are over 120,000 members all signed up and hanging out there, so get on over and join a huge bass community. Okay? I'll see you next week.